Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a viewer requested, viewer driven video. I had a, one of my loyal subscribers uh, a couple of months ago asked me about a dedicated 12 volt lithium iron phosphate charger. So I started looking at different chargers and researching the best brands, uh, their specifications, the best pricing, value, features. And I picked one out and bought it at 1st of July. So this is one I purchased right here, this Noi Favo. Uh, 25 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. I've been running it since 1st July. So today I'm going to share my thoughts and we're going to check its performance on these Redodio 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. So why did I pick this charger? Well, first off, the price is right on it. I caught this on a coupon sale, $104.99 is what I paid for this charger. I think the normal price is around $110 to $115, just depending on if there's a coupon or not. Uh, this IP65 rated, so that means it is dust tight. So I can leave it outside, not have dust and stuff get inside, damage the charger. And it's protected waterproof wise from low pressure water jets. It's not submersion proof, but it's let's just say it's water resistant so you can spray it with a hose or if it gets left in the rain it's not going to damage it so that was my my other criteria and also they claim a 90 percent charging efficiency on this unit and uh, it's been pretty efficient so far so we'll go instrumentation on it in just a minute uh wide temperature range operation i've had it outside in 100 degree plus weather it still pumps out the power into the batteries that i'm charging just been working great it's got voltage protection on the output side it's got short circuit protection, reverse polarity protection, all that good stuff, over temperature protection. So it's it's a safe charge with all the all, all the safeties and controls built into it. So you know, pretty much just plug and play. You can see the rating right here on the AC input, 110 volts plus or minus 15 percent. So that gives you a wide margin. So if you're using this with a generator or something like that, or an inverter with a little bit lower output, charging other things, you know, it works well. And I've not had any problems with it delivering its rated power. So I've cycled these Redodios a few times. Going to be using these in an upcoming video, so I'm going to go ahead and top them back off. Getting ready for the, the video on these. i got a portable power station that's sitting there idle, so I'm going to drain some power out of that power station and dump it into these batteries. So the Noi Fievo comes with an Anderson with the grab handle and everything on it. This is not the Anderson that came with it. I'll show you where I've been using, the, using it mainly here in just a minute, but this is my own Anderson I made up to charge these Redodios. So to use the charger, it's pretty straightforward. You basically just plug in your, your Anderson connector right there and then take your wall outlet plug. And we're gonna be using the energy meter today so I can monitor the efficiency. So then you plug in the charger and then it starts charging. A little fan comes on, got an indicator light right there, blinking red. So red light indicating that I'm below 80% state of charge on the battery. You can see over there the little meter, the voltage has come up from where it started at. And once this comes up to around 90%, this light starts blinking green. And then when it's fully charged, you get a solid green light. So I got it running right now. And if you're using this inside, the case does get warm. You know, the fans cool across the top at the fin right here, but the bottom does get warm. So I would not recommend sitting it right on wood. Uh, you know, a little spacer, some concrete board, something like that, you'd be fine. But I do not leave it directly on the wood. It's never exceeded around 120 degrees, but still that's a warm spot on a combustible surface. So the charger is consuming 395 watts. The power station is delivering 109.1 volts to the charger. 5.8 amps going to the charger. All right, so I'm pulling 396 watts from the power station or your, your wall plug what have you. So I've got my Klein meter. Let me zero it out. We're going to take an amp reading off of the Redodio batteries. What's going into them. I've got the little voltmeter back here. 13.45 volts. And let's get an amp reading right there. 25.39. Let's just round it up. So as far as efficiency, let's just round everything. 396 here and calculate this out right here. That comes out to be right at 342. We divide 342 by 396, comes out to be 86.4% efficient. Now, a note, I do have ventilation turned off in the powerhouse right now, so it is roughly 90 degrees in here. So I'm losing some efficiency to heat. And I have noticed if I'm using this when it is 60 degrees outside or using it outdoors where it's cooler, the efficiency rate gets up to about 88 to 89. And that's the highest I have seen is 89%. 
uh, on a 60 degree morning charging uh, batteries. So just so you know, you know, it is not, I've not got quite 90% as they claim, but really close to it, which is good. And I'm completely happy with that. Here's the indicator. So you can see the flashing. They activate the red and the green LED to give you that yellow indicator to show that a battery is above 80% state of charge. So you start getting that flashing once you get above 80%. And the charger also starts tapering current once it gets to the higher state of charge level. So yeah, there we go. Just like it's supposed to do. And this is the main place I've been using this little charger to charge this little power pack I carry on the back of my utility cart because uh, it's dust proof and water resistant and all that. You can see all the filth on it where it's been outside. So it sits under the, the golf cart shed like this most of the time. It has handled everything I've thrown at it. Battery's almost all the way full, so I'm gonna try to catch the current taper and the voltage for this charger's algorithm. So I'm gonna reconnect it. Well, it jumped up to 14.6, current zero, so it was full. So it'll shut off in just a second. It's not putting any current to the battery because we're at 14.6 in the battery, and then it drops out. Back to resting. And this is the Anderson that was supplied with the Noi Favo charger right there. Uh, it's 12 gauge leads, 200 gauge jacketed wire, comes with ring terminals little 50 amp anderson right there so grid power brand anderson connectors and i said the charger has this one right here so you know you could put some screws in that and have it mounted somewhere so you can use the pull handle on the charger one to pull it or whatever you want to do uh this is also this is 12 gauge going to the charger so another thing too i forgot to mention earlier in the video there is a two-year warranty offered by noi favo uh according to their manual website you get a two-year warranty so hopefully I don't have to use that, but you know, so far for two months, it's been working great. And I always like to test things before I bring you videos on them. Hence, I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff with different, different products, but two months of owning this, I'm happy with it. Can I recommend it? Yes. And the efficiency is not quite 90% as they claim, but it's right in line with many of your other chargers. They average from 80 to 90%. This one is on the upper side of efficiency level. So, you know, hope the viewer that requested uh, this style charger is happy. I'm happy with this, and this is a good beta test for me as well to check the quality of Noi Favo before I purchase a larger amperage or higher voltage charger, which I will be doing uh, very soon. Include a website link to Noi Favo's website. This is not available on Amazon. Y'all earn nothing or anything like that. This is non-sponsored. It's just something I bought, you know, to try to help y'all out and, you know, kind of test their products. So, you know, just check it out if that's something you're into. And, uh, you know, if you're using a different style charger, hit me up in the comments and tell me what you're using. And if you're happy with it, but uh, the Rodeos will be coming up soon. So, you know, running them a few times before I bring you a video on these. So hope you all enjoyed the video today. Y'all take care and be safe.